Hey YouTube and my subscribers, today I'll be giving you how to tip on your Traxxas Flash Ford F-150 Raptor SVT. Now, what you want to do for this how to tip is go and get a 4x4 from your local Home Depot or Lowe's and make sure that it's not bowed or twisted get a treated one then after you do that cut it down to 38 and 5 8 inches long then after you've done that take and make sure that your slash is sitting on the front skid plate and the back one on the skid plate also now after you've done that Make sure that the wheels ain't touching the ground. Now, the back ones will hang lower than the front. That's okay. Now, what this does, it takes the tension off your springs to allow them to rest. Keeps them from going bad. Now, for the shock oil, it keeps that from being compressed all the time. And keeps it in real good shape. So when you take your slash and you put it down the ground or you go and run it next time, it keeps the oil from being and going bad. It makes it last longer. Also, make sure that you clean your springs with soapy water and Use a toothbrush on it so you get all the dirt off. Then take a Q-tip and go over all the hard spots. Take the spring off when you do this. You don't have to take the shock apart. Just take the bottom off the shock. Then take the spring off. Then you should be set to go. I'll have videos of how to clean a shock on the outside so that the spring won't rust. There will also be a how-to video of how to keep your paint from coming off when you have to wash it or clean it with something. Now, what else I'll have coming up, I'll have videos of this truck running against our 2.5 R Nitro Ruffler then I'll try and get a video of this thing running through the dirt some more with the blending and setup then I'll maybe have a video coming up of a King's Motor Buggy when or next time my buddy Jason runs it I'll have a video of that because that thing's fast and awesome. It looks like an HPI ball haul buggy. It's a one fifth scale. Then our Nitro Wrestler is a 2.5R. And I'll have racetrack videos coming up. More videos of how to make sure that your slash is up and running properly. And how to videos of how to keep the bearings inside the wheel from going bad after you run it in wet conditions. And that should be it for now. Comment, like, and subscribe. And if you got any videos or comments about anything you need to know, just feel free. Post a comment down below. Subscribe up top. And we'll see you guys later.